Hi, I'm John. We created Cruises with Friends to help you coordinate your sailings with the people you know. Internet on cruise ships can be very expensive, so you may only want to purchase a single device package for your sailing. In order to get the most out of that package, you may want to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot to share that package between multiple devices. There are three ways in which you can do this. So you can use a portable Wi-Fi router, you can turn your Windows laptop into a Wi-Fi hotspot, or if you're using an Android phone, that can be used as a Wi-Fi hotspot. In this video, we will show you how to set up all three types of hotspot. So let's get started. We'll start by showing you how to set up a mobile hotspot on your Windows PC. So start by clicking the start button and then type in mobile hotspot and then select mobile hotspot. Next, you will click edit in the property section and you will edit the network information. So you will give the hotspot a name and a password. And finally, toggle mobile hotspot to turn it on. Next, we'll look at setting up a Wi-Fi hotspot on your Android phone. You'll start by logging on to the ship's Wi-Fi network and logging into your internet account. You will then click the search icon in the top right of your screen. Start typing the word hotspot and select hotspot name from the list. You will then give the hotspot a name, a password, and finally you will toggle use Wi-Fi hotspot to enable your hotspot. And we'll finish off with the portable travel router. So we use the TP-Link AC750, but there are a number of similar devices on the market, so find the one that suits you. With the device, you should have received an info card with the SSID for the device, as well as the password to log in. You will find these details on the back of the device as well. When you are ready to use the router, plug it into a power source to boot it up. After a short while, you should be able to find the router from your PC or your phone and you can configure it to connect to the ship's Wi-Fi network. Once you've connected to the router, open your web browser and navigate to the router's setting page. This will usually be 192.168.0.1. You will use the password from the info card or the back of the router to log in and start the configuration. We recommend using the quick setup because it allows you to get up and running quickly. Click next and then select dynamic IP and then click Next. You will now see the Wi-Fi networks that the router can see. So you want to select the guest Wi-Fi network for the ship. When we made this video, we were not on a ship, so what you're seeing are the networks that are available here at home. Next, you can configure the Wi-Fi settings for your router. So you can change the SSID, or the name of the network for your router, and you can also change the passwords. Once you're done with that, click Next, and finally click Finish to save the settings. You are now ready to connect to the ship's Wi-Fi network through the router. You will need to go through the login process in the same way as you would do if you were connecting directly to the network. If you haven't already done so, why not check out the Cruises with Friends website and smartphone apps. Cruises with Friends is a service that we developed to allow us to connect with friends and share which sailings we are on. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.